O great spirit, who covers the Native American tribes under your wings, great are you Lord, great in power, and capable of all things. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, for the great spirit cares for the tribes of Native America. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand, for the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice, he hath bid his guests. There shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and an howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. O oh, our people, hear the call of the Great Spirit, and believe in him, and he will forgive you your sins, and will save you from a painful punishment. For the Creator of all things will restore sovereign rights, and rulership of Native America, to the tribes. Amen. This is April Shaltais, using the computer to generate this message. Native Americans were given these lands by covenant from the Lord. They were invaded by Rome, which had already taken over Europe. Extermination orders were put out on Native Americans. The United States murdered indigenous peoples for gain. This is Rome. Rome is into conquest and killing. My two brothers are dead and so is my niece. They came after me, too. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. They don't need a reason. But I am an unmarried virgin past 50. I survived, but many Native Americans did not. Rome is still here. Rome crucified Christ and created Christianity to cover up the genocide of Jews, Africans, Muslims, Russians, Irish, Celts, Japanese, Chinese, Aborigines, Vietnamese, Koreans, Hmong, Hawaiians, Eskimos, Native Americans, and more. Mexicans are dying on the border every day. Never, never forget. Never. The scriptures say, they swear to a lie while they know, Yahweh, Allah, the Most High has prepared for them a terrible punishment. Evil is what they used to do, 